that is how close that was to going down there and then that would have been a fun recovery. Now we've got a pretty cool recovery for you guys today. We've got the Forerunner back up and going, and that fusion right there is what we are going to recover. And this is what we're going to recover it from. A little uh, flash flood down this wash, push the car down there, about off that edge. And uh, we got to winter out. Over this hill right here in the back is town, so it's right in our backyard, not too too far. We don't have to drive an hour to get there. but. I think it'll be fun regardless. We gotta go scope out the trail because they came in this way where the Forerunner is sitting and we're thinking about taking them out this way because it's a little less sketchy, but we gotta go figure that out. So, a couple days. So as you can see, got a little bit of residue from the flood here. It's basically just packed with weeds and there's rocks underneath that have washed in. And you can see how the water was flowing through the front bumper right there it's hung up on this rock and that basically stopped it from going over this edge there's a couple in the back we're gonna have to move everything but it basically they got high centered right here right where the forerunner's sitting and then the water pushed them down there and luckily they didn't go off of this cliff because that would have sucked that would have been a serious that would have been like a heavy deer recovery right there yeah might have been kind of hard to tell how deep this wash was, but how to put her in four low, four wheel drive to get out of that. Just because that hole right there is so deep, it flexes it pretty good. So, let's see if we can't get out of here without getting stuck. Dude, that's sick. <laughs> We got a little bit too. Dude, rock the boat. Look at this. I got out. This wheel is completely off the ground. Dude, the fusion. <laughs> yeah. Look at it tucked in. Yeah. See what I'm talking about? This is a rough day of work. Yeah. Definitely trying to pull the fusion back up that. That's a no-go. Pitch. If the runner's dragging, she's got a little bit more ground clearance than the fusion, so... Yeah, definitely gonna try this route out. Yeah, if we clear out this stuff right here, I think we could pull it back and then, you know, just hook up to it right here. Yeah. Yeah, and then back straight up here and just miss all that gnarliness and head out to the left here. Do a little ground digging here. Had to have gotten in, like right here, but it's yeah. definitely wet. But I mean, they were climbing oh. in that. But... Holy. It's hard to tell what was the damage before the accident. <laughs> oh, Can you imagine if that deer was still in the back? Dude, that's why I told him I'm like, uh, yeah, you should get that deer out for sure. Yeah, so these guys were hunting and they put their deer in the back. This is the hunting rig. Hunting rig right just, here, boys. Just in case you didn't know, fusion, perfect hunting rig. Yep. The trunk, look at this. Perfect fit for a deer. Look at all that. Nice buck. Oh, oh, oh. Day two of the recovery, first official day. Jason, our record driver, is right here. We just uh, dropped that sucker off, and now we're going to cruise up there see if we can get her pulled out. We're just gonna pull the car slash drive the car down to here just so we don't have to drive the wrecker up the road. 
and plus we can't get it all the way there so that's a plan check out my uh little puck for my winch it used to be black and now it's completely faded out but currently it does match my wheels so it's kind of cool i did bring a chain and stuff because there's a rock we we're seeing about we need to try and hook around that rock right there um, should have brought a floor jack we could jack this thing i out. did oh did you yeah all right let's hit the floor jack little baby guy that's that one that you found in that car i'm not gonna lie this thing solid solid jack right here i mean it's pretty handy being that small probably not the safest thing but So it's filled with rocks all the way underneath it. Got one more big rock. Well, two more big rocks. All right, let's get out. Apparently, we should have brought another jack. Yeah, I say we just hook on the lower control arms and give her a game. No real hooks underneath here. Yeah, I was hoping there'd be a hook or something. But, I guess but we can get that control arm over there. Hook your strap on it. I think we're gonna be able to get that other rock out right there. That's uh, what we we're working at. <laughs> Might have to move the jack, see if we can get done this lower control arm here. Look at all that debris. Might drag a little bit. Just a little bit. Should try and back it up or just start pulling it. I mean, we can try backing up. I don't think it's going to go anywhere, though. What are you doing up here, Jason? Checking the oil? Yep, checking the oil, seeing if we've got any oil in it. Oh, look at that. We're in luck. Might be. Might be we'll just drive it out of here. Yeah. Good oil in it. Yeah, that's right. Now we'll move this cable in the back and we'll give her a try. Yeah, straighten her out now. Up right there, I think. It's looking good. Yeah, that's perfect. It gives us room to get the rope hooked up now. I'm not going to do what I did that time at Schofield and ramrod my winch on there as Now turn up the hill, Jason. Other way. There you go. Hey, if we can go back a little farther, we can pull this front end up. I just didn't know if it was getting real tippy. I couldn't see. I think it's all right. It's... Jason, just don't get, don't give it any gas. Steer and let me pull you so that way it doesn't slide the front end in. 
Is that a gear? There we go, now we're starting to go. Fed off a little bit. Yeah, I caught the edge of that rock. Must have caught on that little notch in the rocker. It was just sliding and all of a sudden it caught it. Head on now. Well, I'm not sure when the camera shut off because it got too hot, but we got that rock out of there. Jason's gonna try to pull her right on forward. See if uh, we can't, we're gonna back him up a little bit and then have him try and pull her right up here and hopefully we can get right onto that road. Home free. That's gonna slide us. I think, I think, I think, I think we can get it right there. Oh, there we go. Oh. All right, stop, I'll get that other strap off the back. Oh yeah, dude. Got her. Listen to all the water in the back of that. Let's see. If you guys were doubting if, uh, this thing was actually in a flash flood. Check out all the water from there. You can just hear it bubbling. Well, I guess we can just try and drive her out. Go up to that next spot. We'll cruise up there and then, yeah, and then film it. Okay. I think uh, we're probably gonna have to shovel that spot. I think so. Well, honestly, guys, that kind of went better than I expected. Huh. Not too big of a deal, really. It was just those rocks that kind of created the most issue for us going up this hill, but now we got that one little washout to go around and uh, take her back, load her on the wrecker. Guys, check this out. I barely even seen this. It's magnetic. That's cool. Now, if you watch some of my older videos, I didn't have one of these, and I talked about it for like three recoveries. Now that I got one, I'm only used it once, so that's about how it goes. But all right, you got the handle for that. Yeah. Yeah, I think if we just stay high right here, and then right here will get a little sketchy. But if we move these rocks, that you just come through with a little bit of momentum, you should be able to roll right through that. Same rock. Uh -huh. I'm thinking what we'll do is we'll stay on top and just come down like right into here. Yeah. Probably even... Uh, if we shave this bank off just a little bit right here where it's steep. Yeah, the rest of it doesn't look too bad. Coming up here and there's like this thing that's like about that long. It's like a fuzzy like centipede or something. Really? I took a video of it. Weird. Dude, I caught one out at my parents' house a few years ago. It was like a, a centipede, but seriously, like that long. And I bet it was like, it was over a quarter inch wide. It's a little bit of rubbish. Honestly, I think everything else is doable, so we'll just go back and load her up. Yeah, look how much water's coming out now. Yeah, dude. 
It smells like a fire though when we were coming down that corner right there. Oh, did it? I think all the weeds that were in the front end and stuff, it's probably around the exhaust. Probably. Yeah, dude, look. There's smoke coming out of there. Pop the hood. Smoke's coming off the brakes. Oh, smells like weed fire. Yeah, right there on the Cadillac converter. Yeah, look at all that crap in there. It's probably washed around this heat shield, honestly, on the manifold. Yeah, it's all packed that, in there. Yeah, and then on the Cadillac converter. Let's put out this small fire. I seen Whistling Diesel do this to his truck, and it was fine. It was fine. the off-road recovery not too bad a couple hours worth of work what was that an hour and a half two hours hour and a half, maybe. right in the backyard so anyways thanks for watching peace out